Hello guys, welcome back to SWS Boxing. Delighted to get on the channel, Casey Bradnam. How are you, mate? I'm all well, thank you, Sam. How you been, mate? I'm good, mate. Pleasure getting you on as always. Yeah, top man. Thanks for having us. Anytime, mate. Um, yeah. So I had you on the day of the fight against Angelo. Um, it was a forty thirty six defeat in, I believe it was um Swansea or Cardiff. Can't remember what one. It was Swansea. It was Swansea. Yeah, he's Angelo's good, a good mate of mine now. Um, he's a good man, honest man, just trying to make a make a living out of the out of sport we love. Um, yeah, good fight. Um, yeah, good fight, good fight. Went a bad fight. Um, yeah, I think it, did you say it was forty thirty six? Um, yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, um, yeah, good fight. I thought I. Uh, yeah, it was a good fight. I thought I'd done enough to maybe nick around. Um but yeah, good fight. And uh he got a job done. I think he's on the road himself now. I think he's uh got a rounder. Yeah, I mean I've seen that as well, and now I've seen I think a few days ago that he's fighting for the Welsh title as well now. Yeah, so yeah, all, all the best to him. Um yeah, how far we can go in this sport, being the age he is, I'm not too sure. But while uh, while he's still still being able to box, good luck to him, and I hope him all the best, and I hope he uh, achieves everything he wants to. If that is money or titles or whatever that may be, all the best to him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hundred percent. Um, yeah, it'll be a good fight for him that Welsh title. Do you believe he'll win it, or do you not know much about his opponent? Don't know, I don't know anything about it, so it's hard to say. Um, but if the fight goes down to who's got the biggest heart, he'll probably be he'll probably win it for sure. He's got a big old heart on him, and uh, he keeps he keeps coming forward. He don't stop. Yeah, hundred uh, percent. Then you fought Shed Shear. Shed Shear. I can't remember who that is, bro, if I'm honest. Um, I think it was in Rayton, was it? What's his nickname? What's his nickname? Uh, I couldn't tell you, but he was 1-0 and oh, and you, you boxed him in Rayton Sam? Meadows Arena. Yeah, what's his nickname on Box Rack? Sh Shed Shear, it says. It's all right if you don't know him. We'll just we can talk about. Uh, yeah. Some... yeah, I'm not too sure who that is, but I can't remember who that is. Ah, uh, fair enough. Um, then you fought Mikey Lee Broughton in Birmingham. Yeah, he's um he's good. He he's he's good. He's very sharp. Um, yeah, he's not too bad. He's a he's a, he's good. I think he's a little, little bit but he thinks he's a little bit better than what he is. Um but no, he's very good and he'll 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 probably be uh he'll probably win a title and yeah, he's very good. Mm hmm Do you think he could win the Midlands? I think he'll win the Midlands title for sure. I don't think he'll go on and win anything else. But I think he'll win that title for definite. Mm -hmm. And then you fought, uh, hang on, I can't pronounce his name, Minzangurug? Yeah, I had, a, I had a brilliant fight with him. Um, it was a, a very, very good fight. Just both stood toe to toe, went for it. Um, a nice boy. Um, I don't know how long he'll have in this sport with his style. He's a brawler. He stands in toe to toe, and he's in the pocket, and he's happy to trade all day long. But if a long jury in the sport, that might not always work in his favour. Was that a tough fight? That one, and was he was he strong? Would you say? Um, 
he had a little bit of power. I didn't think it was a tough fight. I actually thought I won that fight and uh, I didn't win a single round, so I was gobsmacked. But that's just the way the sport is. You three on your way corner, it's hard to get to get the rounds to let another win. How many rounds do you believe you won in that fight? Three or? Uh, do you know what? I, I thought I won all four. Ah, fair enough. Is that something that you would run back then, or? The signal's quite bad, isn't it, Sam? Can you hear me? Yeah, signal's quite bad, isn't it? Uh, hang on, let me have a look. Sorry, hang on. Uh, can you hear me now? Yeah, that's better, Sam. All right. Um, yeah, so is that something you would run back then, or? Yeah, I'd definitely box him again. Um, I thought I won every round in that fight. Um, but it is just been in your way corner. You've got to expect these things. And you know he's a lovely boy, and uh, he he will definitely go on to win titles. Mm hmm. Um. Then I know. Um. You fought in Wales again against Josh Melly. Um. Uh, I think that's how you say yeah. it, 39, 38, and you did drop him. And I've seen the knockdown because you put, put it on your story. It was a very, very heavy knockdown, that one. It was, yeah. I think he should have got stopped. Um, he got up on the count of nine. He was very unsteady on his feet. Um, yeah, and he had a lot to say before the fight and after the fight. Uh, he called me out after his last fight a few weeks back or last weekend. Um, but we were meant to box on the 20th of April he pulled out needed a, an easier fight a confidence fight and then had the cheek to say um, he didn't I didn't want to box him but that was never the case I agreed to the rematch agreed to the money and um, he didn't want it Is that the one who said that he would like knock you out and stuff? Yeah, so before the fight, I was um I was about forty five minutes late to the weigh in, due to traffic. And when we got to weigh in, he was telling everyone he's gonna knock me out, and basically I'm a nobody. So uh, I made him meet his words, and I put him down in the second round. And um, I thought, well, well, I definitely, definitely put up on that fight. I thought he should have got stopped. Um, and yeah, he didn't want the rematch, so if he does watch this video. Um, Josh, I'll box you in that rematch, no problem. That's, I think, the next show up in Swansea's in August. I'm ready when you are. I mean, I, how do you score a fight 38 37? Because it's a 10 8 round when you put them down as well. Yeah, I'm not too sure to be fair, mate. It was, um, even both promoters in the who was there, they fought a one. Um, Everyone in the venue thought I won. And yeah, he was del he's deluded. He's delusional. To think he won that fight and to be happy with the performance he'd done is beyond me. Well, if he's calling you out, then he, um, and if he wants a rematch, then he knows that that was a close fight. Yeah, listen. And he's whoever, got something to prove. He's got a lot to prove. Look at my record. I'm a journeyman. I'm, everyone knows I'm a journeyman. So to be calling that a journeyman, that's not seriously wrong. You shouldn't be doubting yourself. You just move on to the next. I've boxed people and I thought I, I nicked it and there's been fights where I've been out scored. It's just one of the things you, you just move on. Um, and yeah, he's obviously got something to prove, but I don't know what that may be because I'm a journeyman. <laughs> Do you regret not jumping on him when, you know, when he got back up? Yeah, I do in a way. I, I should have I should have stopped him. Um yeah, I do great, but we move on and if that rematch ever happens I would I'd bet my whole purse I'd stop him in before the end of before the end bell. Would you rematch over maybe six rounds or Yeah, I'd do six rounds, no problem. I actually asked for six for the rematch and I refused it. Who who did he box instead? Uh, Paul Scaife. Oh, Paul. 
Yeah. yeah. Did you see that fight or no? No, I didn't, unfortunately. But yeah, is that something no. that is is that on one of your top of your list sort of to to fight? Uh no, not no, not not necessarily. I'm just just moving through the prospects one by one. Um, if they're good, bad, or whatever, I just want to earn as much money as possible. Get out there, un unhurt, uncut, and move on. And same for them. I want to. I don't want to hurt them. I just want to earn my money and go home. Yeah, and I think you thought who would who did you fight after that? There was Ethan Brown, was it? Uh, was Ethan Brown after? Was Ethan Brown after? Yeah, it was Ethan Brown. Ethan Brown is the best person I've ever been in there with. That's unlicensed amateur or pro. He is something special. He, he, I mean, yeah, I've I've saw him like in the build up to your fighters. I've spoken to him before. I can't remember when, but yeah, I've, I was quite impressed with him in the fights, you know. And he stopped. I think it was round two. Was it a body shot that he put you down with? Nah, he um he caught me in close quarters in the corner, um with a I think a, a straight right. Just caught me off guard. A bit of a flash knockdown. Weren't too worried in the first. Then the second, he caught me to uh, the body. Didn't go down. I stayed on my feet. And then he hit me with a clean left hook. I think I was sorry to South Boy. It was a clean right hook. And um, yeah, I think that's that was the end of it, really. Do you agree with the stoppage looking back at it? And. Um... Yeah, yeah, the refs, the refs there for the reason to protect the fighters, and um, yeah, there was no disappointment. Obviously, other than I got stopped and couldn't box the following week, but there was no disappointment in the in the way it went. The the decision, he's he's, if he doesn't win, the titles like British title, European, I'll be. Very, very shocked. You think he can... Yeah, do you feel like... Yeah, you said he could win the European, do you reckon? I truly believe he'll be a British champion. Would you say he's the hardest hitter you fought at the minute, or...? No, he's definitely not the hardest hitter. He's definitely not... He's very accurate. He's very precise. He puts you where he wants you. Cut the um, corners off. No, quite he didn't well. hold a lot of power. He was. He cut the corners off where we. But no, he definitely wasn't the biggest hitter. But he was just the most accurate, and he knew exactly where he wanted to put you. Mm. Um. Yeah, and now you fight in Tyler Chambers. Uh, back at your call. Uh, I believe that's yeah. in three weeks. Uh, three weeks. Three weeks yesterday, yeah. Back uh, at your call on a good win stroke, my manager. Um, Tyler, Tyler is coming off a defeat against Lee Hallett. Um, I'm coming off a stoppage. So, yeah, that should be a good fight. That should be a good fight. Um, I'm not looking to upset the apple cart if I haven't got to. Uh, I think Tyler is definitely beatable. But I'm looking to go there, earn my money, get home to me to my family, and that's it. Um, if Tyler has any, uh, if Tyler has any sort of sense, he'll just play the game as like I am. And if he wants to have a, a war, we can do so. That's no problem. But in a perfect, a perfect world, he'll come in, play the game. I'll play the game, and he'll get his win, and that'll be the end of it. Yeah, is that um is that a full rounder this one? Uh yes, it is a four rounder, yeah. I'd <laughs> like to have done six, but yeah, it's a four. Yeah. Um of course you can't like cause um I'm not sure if there's a video out there of the Lee uh Hallett v Ch- Chambers fight, because I haven't seen it, but how do you 
you know, fighting someone who's coming off a loss, um, how do you sort of prepare for a sort of fight like that when you haven't seen the fight? Um, obviously, all the journeymen speak and we all ask each other what the opponent's like. Um, I've asked Lee and being a boxer, you, you adapt all the time and if you, if you can't, you, you don't know how to adapt. It could be a problem, but I've got to adapt to whatever he brings. And to be honest with you, I'm sort of expecting him to come out first round trying to kill me, all guns blazing. Um, I think if he does that, then he's going to be in for a very, very hard night. But he comes out and just wants to box, no problem. We can do that. We can box. You get your, you get your win. I'll get my money and we go home. But if he comes out all guns blazing, I'm more than ready to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe and have a complete war with him. So it depends. Do you, like, um perform how, like, you're, so when your opponent... So, yeah, when your opponent boxes, is that... So in the first round, sort of how the fight's going to sort of go sort of thing? Yeah, if they come out trying to take my head off, sometimes you've got to stand there and have a have a little war um but yeah as i say in a perfect world he'll he'll play the game like i do mm -hmm. how many fights are you trying to have uh this year of course you've had this um you've had one in feb uh ideally this one and how many more for the rest of the year roughly um i'd like to have at least 17 um, but yeah, we'll see. My 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 medicals up. My yearly medicals up. So I was just put next in the next three weeks to get my medical all sorted. But yeah, obviously I've got Tyler Chambers for four rounds on the eighteenth, and then the month after, as it as it stands, far as booked in, but as it stands, out will be with Share Khan. I've got six rounds with Share Khan. Mm. Um, is there any? What about uh? What's he called? Who was you meant to be boxing on the top tier show that one time? Jimmy forgot his surname. Was it Croc on? Was it? Yeah, Crocs and Jimmy Crocs and yeah. Does he still box? Um. Oh, do you know what? I've not heard nothing about him, so I'm not too sure if he's in the gym if he's boxing. I'm not too sure what's happened with Jimmy. Oh, is is that a fight that um didn't you have a bit of history with him in the amateurs or something? No, um, it would we uh we never faced each other in the amateurs, um, but that would have been a good fight, especially in the pros, longer rounds, an extra round. Uh, um, I think our styles would have would have really come together and made a really good fight, but. Yeah, that he did. He didn't want it, and that's that's fine. Um, then I was trying to get a fight between Arnie Dawson, who boxed last night against Lee Hallett. Um, oh yeah, because yeah, you that were calling never him out, weren't he you? Didn't want it either. That's right. Yeah, I was. Because we were only we we're from like more or less the same town. He's only twenty minutes up the road, but um, yeah, he never wanted it. So. I think uh, Lee Allett had, um, yeah, as you said, Lee Allett fought him last night. It was 58-56, I think, to Arnie. Yeah, it was, it, yeah, it was close. It was close. I think um, a lot of people said Lee, they thought Lee won it as well. Mm. But, yeah, um, before I let you go, as always, Casey, do you want to thank manager, trainers, um, just anyone who's helping you? Yeah, just a big shout out to BRC, um, pound for my uni medical this year. Sponsored me last four, four or five years. Um, also, a big shout out to Steve Goodwin for finding me these fights and just just uh, everything he does, really. And a thank you to yourself, Sam, for letting me on the channel, mate. Much appreciated. Anytime, mate, and thank you for your time and good luck for Tyler Chambers. Bye, mate.